Hello, my name is Jesus Morin Garcia. I am the CEO of Genuro, and I thank you for your interest in our company. Genuro is a phase two clinical development Swiss company listed on Euronext Paris. We are focused on addressing neurodegenerative conditions such as multiple sclerosis, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, and more recently, post-COVID neurological syndromes. Our approach is based on neutralizing harmful proteins that can arise from the 8% of human DNA that is of viral origin, known as human endogenous retroviruses or HERVs. HERVs are remnants of viruses that infected our ancestors. While typically inactive, HERVs can produce proteins, some of them highly pathogenic, notably when external viruses interact with human cells. The leading, the leading drug candidate from Genuro is temelimab, a humanized monoclonal antibody. It targets the pathogenic WR protein, which has been shown to be present in the brain of patients with multiple sclerosis at all stages of the disease, in the active, slowly expanding lesions that characterize progression in this indication. This protein fuels a neurodegenerative environment in the brain by activating microglia and hampering the natural myelin repair processes. The neutralization of WR by temelimab in phase two clinical trials with over 300 patients has shown its potential to treat neurodegeneration through its results in MRI and liquid biomarkers, such as reducing barrier atrophy, maintaining myelin integrity, and reducing liquid biomarkers such as NFLs and GFAP. Today, while patients can be effectively treated against inflammation and relapses, disability continues to build up over time as a result of a neurodegenerative process. Tackling disease progression, which is predominantly independent of relapses, is the main unmet medical need in multiple sclerosis. As regulators require to have clinical endpoints to approve new drugs in MS, this requires long phase three trial long phase three trial studies. Genuro needs to partner with a large pharma to combine temelimab with a powerful anti-inflammatory drug to tackle both inflammation and neurodegeneration. This is why combination therapies are the best way forward, combining the existing effective anti-inflammatory drugs with novel compounds that specifically target neurodegeneration. Here, discussions are ongoing. We're also active in post-COVID, long COVID or post-acute sequelae of COVID called PASC. Genuro entered the field following the discovery by EU and US research groups that SARS-CoV-2 triggers the expression of the pathogenic WR protein in the blood of about 20% of patients infected by COVID. Genuro's attention was focused from the fact that once the expression of WR is triggered, this expression may continue over time, long after the initial infection. And this expression may play a significant role in the immune dysfunctions, cognitive issues, and extreme fatigue experienced by so many patients. Shinuro tested this hypothesis and confirmed that about a third of patients affected by PASC were positive to WOF. The ability to select patients positive to WOF and the pathogenicity of this protein provided a solid biologic rationale for a precision medicine approach using temelimab to neutralize the protein WR. This effort is supported by the Swiss Federal Office of Public Health with a 7 million grant and the European Investment Bank through 7 million in venture debt. Chenuro also entered a partnership with Verily, ex Google Health, in the field of COVID to look at the genetic health markers of the disease. The exciting news is that Genuro has now finished the enrollment of 203 patients in a biomarker-based, so patients only positive to WOF, double-blind placebo-controlled phase two study of temelimab in PASC. The study confirmed that over 35% of patients that were screened were positive to WOF. This study, which is the largest one to date and the only biomarker-based approach, we read results in June, 2024. As this study measures clinical endpoints of cognition and fatigue, 
Due, and due to the absence of treatments today, it is expected that positive, positive results will lead to emergency market authorization that could allow a potential treatment for over a third of the estimated 8 million patients in the EU and the US who are severely affected by PASC. Chinuru is already in contact with regulators in order to discuss what will be the pathways to making the drug available for patients as soon as possible. Last but not least, in ALS, Chinuro has a partnership with the U.S. National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke to develop a precision medicine approach for sporadic forms of ALS, which are about 80% of ALS patients. This program is at preclinical level, and Chinuro is discussing potential partnership to take this program forward. Chinuro's expertise in health biology is grounded in over 25 years of research, starting at Institut Mérieux and INSERM, leading to the company's establishment in 2006. We are the heart of herb biology, also called today the drug genome biology, and we're in a very strong position to deliver on the potential benefits of this link between infectious diseases and the viruses within our DNA and neurological and autoimmune diseases. If you're interested, we have a lot more information on our website, but also explanatory videos about herbs and the link to disease in our YouTube and uh, Twitter channels. I thank you for your attention.